not needing that love from strangers. But I'm still putting out good content. I'm I'm putting making videos as if it's to my family. And if if you map out your dopamine, it shows you it's a very unusual reminder and a visual thing where I can see what my brain is doing. And what the final thing I made with the clients do is out of a hundred, you have a hundred points and you have to assign a point value of dopamine that equals a hundred. You have to allocate for all, where am I getting this little validation and stuff from? Mm -hmm. And then it's, it's very difficult to have to sit there and write 65 on cocaine or, you know, whatever I'm doing and, and put a 12 next to my kids. How do I know something is high? Is it that I'm very motivated to seek that? When I look at the actions that I take throughout the day, not what I want to value, but what I actually value with actions, is that what determines the, the size of the? Uh, I, I determine it by proximity. Uh, uh, how close are you to that thing? Time, how much time of your day does it occupy? And feeling, like, do you feel good while doing it? Does that make sense? So like, am I driven? Am I motivated to go do this thing? Mm -hmm. Not necessarily do I feel good after getting it, but... Not after. Yeah, because you can feel empty, but still keep pursuing it. Yeah. So it's, it's, am I motivated to pursue that? Yeah. So if you don't feel good after something, that's a good indicator that that's a dopaminergic thing and not a serotonergic mm. thing. It's not love. It's not oxytocin, yeah. stuff like that. I think it's a common misconception that people think dopamine is the feel good chemical which it's, it's not, it's the, it's actually the gap chemical. It's, I want, I'm good. I'm go